Hi, it's Melissa here and I'm showing you another process video today and what I just had there on the screen was an award that my son won for end of year last year for school and he won the Care Bear Award for being a student who was always caring for others. So I wanted to get the story documented and I took a couple of photos at the prize giving when he received his award and my husband is actually his teacher so it's awesome because the photos show Sean giving Sam the award. So here I'm just going through my hip kit. I was going to say stash. I guess it is a stash of sorts. And what I wanted to do with this layout was have the black and white stripe as the background pattern paper and then make a grid with six rectangles and then layer up lots of bits and pieces of paper. So really, this is a great way of using up lots of scraps. Now that little heart frame, that's from the Amy Tangerine stitched ephemera pack. And that is really what determined the way that I made this layout. So because of the size of it, I had my photos quite small and I wanted to feature it. And so it's given me the direction for the six little rectangles. Now I've cut a lot of this out because me going through papers and cutting layers is really quite tedious and I really don't think it's worth showing. So I've jumped ahead and just like the last video I did that was grids and layers, you'll see that I jump around between the rectangles, I work on layers, then I might do some embellishment and then I'll come back and do some more layers. Now that is a stamp that piece of craft paper I'm holding there. So I stamped it on the craft paper and then I cut it out. And it is bothering me a bit because it's not the same shade as the craft frame. But anyway, we'll carry on. So I'm coming to the end of this kit and I don't like having product just sitting around. Now, so what I want to do to combat that see if I can use as much product as possible. Now I don't mean an over-the-top just throw things onto the page kind of way but I still want it to look good but I want to see how much embellishment I can add to this. Okay so I decided to pop that frame up and I've tucked that closed pin or we call them pegs behind that frame and I've put an acorn there as well and I'm just building up my layers and once again it all comes down to what looks good to me and whether the patterns and colours work together. Obviously I'm not going to put two really busy patterns together, I'm going to layer it up with more softer patterns or less busy patterns. Now, I'm really happy that I pulled out my stapler there, I think it looks really cute and I'm adding some more staples there and then later on you'll see that I've decided to add some staples to every single rectangle. And that provides interest and continuity. Several of the elements I'm popping up on Stampin' Up! Dimensionals and that just gives a bit more dimension obviously and provides some, some shading and movement on the page. I'm trying to get that ampersand down, I cut that out of the cut apart sheet but once again it's not successful on this layout. Now a lot of these embellishments are not specific to the story, however I think they look great with the colours, they go with the collection, the Amy Tangerine collection obviously because they're from that collection and I just think they provide some interest so I'm keen to get them down. That camera there is going to become very problematic for me. I have tried to place it on several layouts now and I'm trying to put it on this one. There I'm just cutting out the, the Y's. J and the Y on Enjoy so I can tuck that card in and have those descending elements just go onto the photo. 
So there I'm showing you how I stick it on with some double sided tape. And I'm just adding my Tombow because I don't want those bits to pop up. Down to not many puffy stickers. So at this point I was just thinking where can I place them? Is there anywhere that would work? I've cut out some of those flowers and this layout was actually made before the one with my daughter and the flowers. However, I'm posting it after. So I wanted to add those flowers. I get quite inspired by Lilith Eccles, who has four boys, but always uses beautiful girly products and makes them work on a boy page. However, they do look fine. It's just that they are, they are spreading those rectangles out too wide and so I'm going to remove them because I don't think they look quite right. It's just a matter of trying things out and seeing what works. And don't be afraid to cut up ephemera and embellishments and make them work for you. Like that one there. I didn't actually like that it had dislike underneath it so I cut it off. I've tried really hard to get that the good life piece of ephemera onto a layout too and I haven't haven't been successful this time but I love it I love that it's white and gold and I'll probably carry it over to my next kit and see how I go so here I'm actually putting that camera down and I've cut a bit off the back to make room to pop it up I don't like that word lucky. In our house we'd say blessed instead of lucky. Lucky is like a random occurrence, I guess, whereas blessed is something that God can, can give you. So I don't want to say that he's lucky to get this award. I'd say that he's blessed. I love that text paper. I always love text papers and they work really, really well for layering. That flare is from a paper bakery kit and that little white bowl on the side there, I keep bits and pieces in there that really, really need to get onto a layout. So I'll keep it beside me and when I get near the end of the kit like I am with this one, I'll start to pull from my stash. So it's all, it always feels very rewarding to get something down that I've had sitting around for far too long. My hoarding days are over. It's all about using up my product. Now this looks un unbalanced to me, so I'm just cutting it down and you'll see that it looks a lot better. And I'll just keep going, trimming it off until it looks right to me. So here I'm cutting a couple of tabs and I want to make sure that text is going the right way. Once again just playing around and on this one I find that the this tiny little polka dot on the opposite side works best. In a way, doing a layout like this is almost like working on a mini album, working on six little pages at once. Okay, so I was trying to get that little paper clip boy down but he doesn't look quite right with the style of the layout and I have those amp that ampersand that's studio calico and I had about three left I think of nine so it is good to get them used now here comes another rub on and I love this one 
and it's absolutely gutting is that it just won't rub on. So you won't see the painstaking part, but I take off that little frame, that little stamp, and my vision is to have that in the middle, but it ruined it. So I had to ditch that all together and I've pulled a craft tag, which actually looks a lot better because it's a better colour match to the craft frame. So when a mistake happens or a mishap, rather than panic, I just think, okay, how can I fix it? I've got to move on. I've got to replace it with something. What's going to work best? This other little container or bowl has also got lots of goodies in it that I need to get down. And I keep my string really close by because I love adding it to tags. I always think that a tag looks incomplete without some twine or string on it. So there I'm gluing down the ampersand, and I'm really happy with how that one looks. Now you're probably thinking, what does this have to do with a school award layout? Nothing, but I think they add some interest, and I just like the way they look tucked in there, so they go on. And the fox. What does the fox say? He says, get me on the layout. He'll be coming back and making an appearance soon. Actually wondering what the big song of 2015 will be. Last year it was Everything is Awesome from the Lego movie. And, of course, Let It Go. Who can forget Let It Go? So we're wondering, what's the movie going to be, and what will the theme song be? Adding a bit of pink, and that's off the branding strip there, just to balance it out, because there's pink on the bottom rectangles and not really on the top. And here I'm playing with getting another ampersand down. I'm loving it up there, but it's just the positioning that I need to sort out. So that looks good. And I'm gluing it down. So, I suppose the question is, how do I know when I'm done with layering? And I guess when it looks finished. Now... I added some gelatos there, and I tried to tone them down with some white acrylic paint. I'm not 100% happy with how they look, however, it's all about experimenting and playing around and just going with it. I don't want to chuck out that page just because I'm not 100% happy. To me, the story is recorded, and it just shows where I'm at with my creativity at the time. Adding my journaling and my title best ever and in the final shot you'll see that I moved the word best to the top. Thanks for watching and I'll be back again really soon. Have a great week.